Love yours. All right, you guys, really quick before we get into this glutes and abs workout, I just wanted to give you guys a physique update. If you do not know, I am currently six months postpartum, and this is where we at. Y'all, she's been putting in work. I'm super, super excited about where I'm at right now, but I'm even more excited about where I'm about to go, okay? As you can see, my current weight is 110 pounds, and my goal weight is 140. So honestly, at this point, I'm just trying to get thicker than a snicker. And to do so, we're going to do this weight gain journey together. So if you're interested in this series, make sure you stick around. Now let's get into this workout. Hi there, Future Vazi here. Um, yeah, so never mind how I look right now. I am in the midst of editing this video. And I wanted to just say that the voiceover of this... The voiceover was done early one morning and I was trying my hardest not to wait the new so the energy is kind of off but you know that's the reason why okay love you bye let's get this workout something I want to make very clear is the fact that warm-ups are essential to not getting injured so we are team never skip a warm-up over here make sure you're warming up those muscles before you get into this workout sis Alright, so we get to start this workout with Romanian deadlifts. I absolutely love a good RDL and the way that I master this form is by making sure that my knees are slightly bent, my hips are being pushed backwards, and then we're tracing our shin with the dumbbells, keeping the dumbbells as close to our legs as possible. This will help you target those glutes with this RDL. For our kickbacks, we just want to make sure that we're kicking at an angle and not straight back so that we can target the proper portion of our glutes with this. With these reverse lunges, something to keep in mind is to make sure that your knee is aligned with the middle of your foot and it's not going over your toes. You're going to have a slight hinge forward in your upper torso so that you are targeting your glutes more than your quads. Here I wanted to include a clip showing y'all what real life really looks like around here. Whenever I am working out, oftentimes I have to stop mid-workout in order to tend to baby boy and that's just the reality of things. I learn to roll with it and do what I can when I can and just knowing that it's a part of the journey. So you're not alone sis and you can definitely do this.
Something that I love to do at the end of every workout is wrap it up with some core work. So we're going to go ahead and get into these abs. When you are preparing yourself, you want to make sure that you are not able to put your arm under your back at all during any of these exercises. If your back at all lifts, you want to be sure that you are adjusting your posture, embracing your core. I see the through ice covered in Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watch me weep I loved everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright, hush Russian twists can be a bit intimidating and here you are seeing me do these Russian twists in a progressive state. If you need to regress, what you're going to do is drop your heels to the floor, keep that lean in your upper torso and you're going to keep going, okay? We don't stop, we regress. All 
right, great job, sis. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you like this workout, make sure that you hit that like button. You subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss when I post next. Until next time, love you. Bye. There's no room for doubt. No.